it had to be the diversity of what I got to do. I mean, I get to go, you know, as, 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 a, young, as, a, as a young captain or, or coming up in the ranks, you know, being able to jump out of an airplane on one day, go to a range the next, you know, deal with a complex set of problems, um, be able to set up your own training, uh, be able to participate in, in missions around the world and, and make a difference. That's what drew me to Special Forces and to be able to work with, uh, work with our partners. And that, uh, that was a big part of why I came into Special Operations and a growing appreciation as you get older of what the Army does and what the Joint Force does and how you contribute to that and how you can bring some of the capabilities that we have and nest that within the larger Army construct and within the larger Joint Force construct is what still makes it challenging, what still makes it enjoyable, and I think makes us uh, in the 1st Special Force Command a great value proposition for the, for the nation. You know, it's, it, what's important is the character of the type of people we're bringing in. Um, we need you morally straight. Uh, we need you physically fit. We need folks that are adaptive problem solvers, that are willing to look at a problem from a different way and say, how can we affect that? How can we best deal with that? Uh, that's what we need. We need a baseline of folks that are morally straight, culturally aware, physically fit, that are ready to take on hard problems and try to find unique solutions to them. Folks that are on the fence and, and are, are wondering if they want to come into special operations, I say come see us. Come visit our soldiers. Come be around our families and, and see the strength of this team and, and, and our families and how we take care of each other and how we take care of our soldiers. And, and, and talk to them. Talk directly to them. Don't, don't listen to it on hearsay. Come to the source and talk to our soldiers and their families and I think you'll be sold.